We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to finish off this Primark Fulgrim Mini by doing the base. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now this mini was based with a crumbled tile base to match the rest of the army that it's playing in. And it's got two parts to it. We've got the stone that's supporting the tiles and we have the tiles themselves. In this video, we are going to paint this stone underneath it's made with a lot of cork, which has some really awesome ridges. And so we're going to do a lot of dry brushing layers to create kind of a grayish brown. Our first color is gonna be Dryad Bark. And this color I am mixing with a little bit of Lamian Medium. And I'm just going to paint this all over these rocks. I want the paint to be very thin so that it gets into all of these little nooks and crannies of the cork and I get a really solid coat. Another trick is that since it's such a large area, you can mix your paint with a little bit of water instead of Lamian Medium, just to save yourself some money since you're going to be painting a lot of this color. The important thing is to have just a very wet paint. Once I get the outer ring, I wanna make sure that I get all of the rocks inside these broken holes in the middle of the base, and also all the rocks that are sitting on top and the ones that are kind of on the underside of this stepped area. Once we have that base coat of Dryad Bark completely dry, our next color is gonna be Gothor Brown. And I'm going to be dry brushing this all over the rock area. It's really important to make sure that our previous layer is completely dry since we're doing a dry brush on top of it. And since we used a very watery paint, it might take a little bit longer. And my general tips for dry brushing are to make sure that you remove almost all of the paint from your brush. You really want to have very little paint on there. You wanna make sure all the bristles are coated, but they're just very lightly coated. And then you want to use a soft brush and just go back and forth, doing multiple layers to slowly build up the color without having it streak anywhere. If you find that your dry brush is streaking, there's a good chance there's too much paint on your brush. After we've dry brushed everything with that Gothar Brown, our next color is Bane Blade Brown. This is also going to be a dry brush. And this isn't going to go over all of the rock area. I'm kind of just picking sections of it to add an extra highlight to. This is going to create some different colors in the rock so that there's some areas that are darker and some areas that are lighter. So I'm just picking a few areas. I'm very lightly going over them. Again, I wanna make sure that there's very little paint on my brush. And this is going to make sure that there is a smooth blend from the areas that I'm leaving a little bit darker to the areas that I'm painting brighter. So it's not just a very stark line between those sections. After that, our next color is Carrick Stone. And I'm going to highlight all of the areas of the Bane Blade Brown color, just kind of lightly adding a bright pop of color to them. The next thing I want to do is take a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade. And I'm just using a little bit of this to shadow all of the areas that I left a little bit darker, just to kind of deepen the color and create more contrast and more color variation. I also wanna get the area where the tile is meeting the rocks. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Drakenhof Nightshade and I'm going to be painting this in the bottom of all of these holes in the tile floor. I want these to kind of be puddles of water. So putting this little tint of blue is going to make it seem deeper and is going to make it seem like the color under the water is catching the light differently than the color on top of the water. The next thing I wanna do is take a little bit of this realistic water product from Woodland Scenics. Now, just for ease of application, I put it into an empty little dropper bottle and I'm going to drop this in to all of the holes on the base 
just to create the illusion that they're puddles. You can see that I went ahead and painted the tiles before I did this, just because I want this to be my last step. And I'm just going to create a layer of this realistic water. I need to keep in mind that as it dries, the level is going to lower. So I'm putting a little bit more than I really want the water level to actually be. And if there's any bubbles, I just am going to quickly pop them with the end of my brush. And then I'm going to take a little bit of this water effects product, also from Woodland Scenics. And I'm going to apply this to the little cave area and along any edges of the base that aren't completely covered with rocks. I'm just squirting it onto the mini and then I'm going to take a glue brush to flatten the water down and make sure that it's smooth as possible and just one thin layer. Next, we need to let the realistic water dry completely. It's gonna take about 24 hours. Here it is after it's dry. You can see that it adds just a wet sheen to all the areas that it's applied to. Our last step is to take some Abaddon Black and we're going to paint this along the edge of the base. Now I'm using a little bit of Lamian Medium in my paint, but really just a little bit. I want to make sure that my paint is smooth and I don't get any brush strokes on the rim. However, I want to also get some good coverage. And once the base rim is dry, this Fulgrim Mini is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the tiles of this Fulgrim base in the Mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the Mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming.